Good evening, guys. Good evening. We will start in five minutes, right? All right. Thanks. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. 
Good evening. Good evening. How evening. are you? It's a pleasure to me to meet you. How are you? No. Nice to meet you too. Thanks a lot, Aleli. How are you? How are you today? Um, uh, very tired. Um, Why? So happy. Ah, okay. It's the most important. Um, very work. Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you have a lot of work? Have? Yes. Uh, more to work. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. What about Rufino? Uh, How are you? Excuse me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, Tell me, Aleli. Oh, no. No, no. Important. Ah, there is no problem. Tell me. Important. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, it's uh, the, um, in the room is uh, off camera? No. Or on camera? No, now I explain the, the rules for this class. Okay. Okay. On, okay. okay. But, but, it's, but it's important uh, to maintain on. Okay. How are you, everybody? How was your day? How was your day, Saul? Yeah, in my case, a little tired because I didn't have electricity at home. For that reason, uh, I go to I went to another place to receive some classes. Ah, okay, I understood. But the most the most important that you are here, right? Yeah, I'm happy to be here. The okay, newspaper. excellent. What about you, Iris? How are Good you? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher. My Hi. day is very good. I am happy. Excellent. This is the attitude. I am happy too. Okay, excellent. Okay. And what about, let me see, Cecilia. How are you, Cecilia? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. What about Iris? How are you, Iris? Please activate your camera. I need to know. I need to know you, Cecilia. And what about Rosemary? How are you, Rosemary? How are you? Hi, how are you? Are you okay? Um, yes. I'm fine. Um, but um, sick. Sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But the most important that you are here. Okay, thanks for your participation. What about Marisol Galdames? How are you, Marisol? Hi, I'm good. Hi, excellent. What about Sandra? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm happy because today I start a new model. Yes, excellent. What about Sonia? How are you, Sonia? Hello. Hello, Very Sonia. Good, okay, excellent. What about, let me see, Damaris. How are you, Damaris? Hi. Hi, Hi Damaris. Nice okay, excellent. What about Elizabeth? How are you, Elizabeth? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's nice to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Okay. Now, what about Byron? How are you, Byron? I am happy for starting a new model. Excellent. What about <laughs> Arsenio? How are you, Arsenio? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm so happy. Uh, Thank you for the class. Excellent. Uh, what about Aisa? Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you, Aisa? I am very fine. I am happy. Excellent. Excellent. 
Now what about, let me see, Roberto Carlos. How are you, Robert? Hi, how are you, teacher? Hi. Are you fine. okay? Very, okay. I'm very happy for the new class. Excellent. Nice Excellent. To you, nice to meet you too. Now, here, let me see. Let me share with you my presentation for a start the new class. Do you see the, the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. excellent. Yes. My name is Jamile de Funes. And about academic training, I have an, an specialization in methodology for teaching English as a foreign language. And educational planning too, because it's very important. Now, what about my work experience? I work as an English language. I am a, an English language facilitator since 2018. Now, I was a creator for English language community projects because I consider that all kind of people needs to know about English because English is nice and it's very important in our life and you can use for looking for new jobs and for you can have a, a lot of opportunities to grow in the in the enterprise right now i i am a, i was an english instructor for courses at the captain general gerardo barrios military school together with international plant and currently I'm an English facilitator, but Regal International. Now, this is my short story, right? Because here we have um, WhatsApp group. This is our WhatsApp group. Now, I consider that the majority is included in WhatsApp, right? Are you accept the link to WhatsApp? Todos están dentro del WhatsApp ya, ¿verdad? Yes. 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 Okay. yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Now, if you have any any doubt or any problem, please let me know. Now, what about our dates from the class? Our dates are from 4th, what? April? It's today, right? Yes. Okay. Can you help me from what? April? April. 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 72. 17. April 17. 2023. 2023. 2023. Excellent. Two? What? May. 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 Twelve. 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 Two thousand twenty-three. Two thousand twenty-three. Okay. Excellent. What about our days? It's from Monday to Thursday. From Monday to Thursday. This is important. There will be not classes on May first intense because they are holidays do you know what is holidays mean and first is work day and tenth is mother day mother's day excellent now what about our schedule a schedule is from eight to nine what pm pm from 8 to 9 p.m. Okay, and then don't forget that this date, there will be not classes on May 1st and 10th because they are holidays. This is an important information to know. Now, what about assignments and evaluations? It is necessary to obtain an average of 80 
80% in assignments and evaluations in order to complete the course. Second, the assignments, assignments are found on the platform and it is recommended to work on them right after each class and try to remember that you can advise content. You can advise content. Okay, in this case, recuerden que usted puede avanzar en la plataforma. Sí podemos escuchar la clase, pero puede meterse a la plataforma y avanzar lo más que pueda. Si usted eh, se mete también y hace los ejercicios, Mejor hasta le va a ayudar más en la clase porque ya ha visto el tema con anticipación, right? For that reason, it's very important, advanced content. And, and do the, the exercises that is in the platform. Now, number three, all assignments of the topics already covered must be completed before midnight every Friday. Why? Because that record is sent to Insaforb every week. And the, the last one at the end, support material will be shared in digital format. Okay, now if you have any questions, please let me know. Everything is clear oh, about teacher. the Jamie? Yes. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, the class, the first, uh, the May, um, 10th May, um, they will recover later? No, no for the moment. Okay. Ah, no for the moment. Okay. Okay. Now, if I, if I, had, if I had, or if I have a new news, I can share with you. Okay. Now, another question. No. If I finish it before, no problem. No, there is no problem, but, but do I will finish or at the end of the class is on May. May okay. 7th. Yes, on May 7th. Okay. Now, now, sometimes I like to send you extra materials to the WhatsApp group to facilitate your learning. I consider this kind of extra material is very important to you because facilitate your learning and you can share with, with others the information. Yeah? And in this case, I consider that it's, it's a good idea because I contribute to you to analyze the topic and understand in a, better, in a better way. Now, we will do exercises and activities of the topic seen in order to enrich our vocabulary. For that reason, it's very important to receive extra materials and read the information, yeah? Do you have any questions for this information? No. No for the moment. Okay. No. Okay. Now, what about our, our task and assessment? In week one, that is today, from Monday to Thursday, we cover section one and two. In second week, section three and my term. Number three, section four, and the last week, section five, and final exam. Yeah? And then in, in first week, that is this, we cover section one and section two. Okay, now, what about our rules? The rules are very important. Cam camera on all the time. Only if you are sick or you have any problem, please let me know before, before to connect to the class. Camera on, mute button, 
mute button, but when you when you talk in our class and then there is no problem and eliminate the mute, yeah? And you can participate to the class. Esta parte se la explico. Eh, decimos que vamos a tener el botón apagado porque a veces se escucha bastante interferencia. O sea, usted puede estar hablando, pero tal vez su familia está viendo televisión o ya hay algún ruido atrás, entonces eso eh, molesta el ruido a los demás compañeros. Por esa razón se pide que lo tengan en mute. Ahora, cuando ya le toque participar, usted le va a quitar el mute y participa. But there is no problem, right? Now, active participation. Esto es eh, muy importante porque cuando usted mientras más participe, más va a aprender. Aquí no tenga pena que diga usted, yo me voy a equivocar. Me van, me, me, se van a reír de mí, dicen algunos. Me voy a equivocar. There is no problem. Because try to remember that when you are wrong, you learn more. Acuérdense que de los errores aprendemos. Si no nos equivocamos, no vamos a aprender. Right? And that, for that reason, is very important to active participation. And chat use. Chat use. Sometimes you can use chat, but others no. But there is no problem. Pay attention. Pay attention. And respect to others. There is an important rules respecting to others. And have you, your work materials with you. Because in some cases, we do exercises in our, in our material, in our notebook. Yes? Now, assistance policy. Attendance to 80% of classes is mandatory. Complete the 80%. Yes? Now, Progress and development of the learning platform. You can advance in, on the platform before the class or after the class, right? Now, class time is one hour. One hour. And doing platforms exercises in advance. For what reason? Forget your diploma. Yeah? When you, when you, I guess, let me see exercises in advance. Okay. Cuando usted termine sus ejercicios en la plataforma, usted va a obtener su diploma. No sé si alguno es primera vez que esté en el curso o todos han estado ya en este curso anteriormente. O alguien que esté por primera vez acá en la, en el curso. Teacher, in my case, it's first time. It's in first time? Case. Yes. Ah, ok. Teacher, me too. Ok. Entonces, le voy a explicar así un poco rapidito cómo funciona lo de la plataforma para los nuevos que están por primera vez. Es importante okay. asistir el 80% de las clases. Si usted tiene algún problema para conectarse, Hágamelo saber, yo le voy a poner ahí mi número y si usted no quiere escribir al grupo de WhatsApp, me puede escribir personalmente, there is no problem. Y me informa eh, que no se va a conectar o que se va a conectar y por ejemplo, si está enfermo de la garganta, yo no le voy a estar preguntando, yo respeto eso. Si usted está conectado, mejor porque está conectado, pero yo sé que no le voy a preguntar porque está mal de la garganta, pero para que eso pase yo necesito saberlo antes, right? Entonces, es importante que asista el 80% a las clases. Y lo que les mencionaba de avanzar en la plataforma, es muy bonito porque usted es como que reciba dos clases, se mete a la plataforma, escucha y saca todas las preguntas que tenga, luego se conecta o lo puede ver antes o lo puede ver después en la plataforma y hacer los ejercicios si es una obligación, porque si no hace los ejercicios no obtiene su diploma. Esos le aparecen en la plataforma y se recomienda hacerlos después de cada clase porque tienen la mente más fresca. Acabamos de ver el tema y ya les va a ser más fácil hacerlo. ¿Qué sucede muchas veces? Que 
a última hora están haciendo los ejercicios. Y recuerden que tienen hasta el viernes a la medianoche para mandarlos, para mandar los ejercicios, porque eh, la, la parte administrativa tiene que notificarlo al INSAFOR. Es por eso que no se puede pasar del tiempo, porque si no, corre el riesgo que no le den su diploma, porque todo queda archivado a la hora que lo mandó y cuándo lo mandó. ¿Ya? Entonces, por eso es importante. La hora de la clase es una, ¿verdad? Una hora, a no ser que haya algún problema. Nunca me ha pasado eh, en los cursos anteriores, pero si hubiera algún problema de una tormenta fuerte, que a veces, así como la de ayer, ayer fue una tormenta terrible, entonces, o que se vaya la energía o algo, vamos a ver qué hacemos, o si reponemos el tiempo más tardecito o cómo, pero eso lo vamos a ver en su oportunidad. Nunca me ha pasado, primero Dios, que no pase en este curso, ¿verdad? Pero eh, respetamos el tiempo, porque yo sé que ustedes están cansaditos y estamos eh, aprendiendo uno de otros, ¿ya? Eh, Dicha, pero usted no tiene otra clase después. No, no. Esta es la única clase que va a tener. Sí, esta es la única clase. Ok, ya. eso ya. es ventaja para nosotros. Sí, por eso es importante también que si ustedes tienen alguna duda también y no la quieren hacer en clase, me pueden escribir después de la clase, yo con mucho gusto les ayudo. Inclusive, en el día, si tienen alguna duda, hay partes del día, que yo tengo otro trabajo, pero hay partes del día que sí les puedo ayudar también a, a resolver alguna inquietud, alguna duda que tengan con la clase o con los ejercicios, Usted pregúnteme, yo no me enojo a mí con mucho gusto, ¿verdad? Y lo que me interesa es ayudarles y que usted no se quede con ninguna duda. Esa es mi intención, que le quede claro todo, todos los temas que estamos viendo. ¿Ya? ¿Do you okay. have any question? ¿O los nuevos, alguna pregunta? In my case, teacher, este, eh, no sé cómo, cómo entrar a la plataforma. Nos iban a mandar un link, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, ese se supone que ya todos lo tienen. Ah, ok. Sí, entonces, va, después, después de clase voy a intentar entonces en, entrar, porque como es primera vez, no sé cómo. Vaya, revise, revise, intente entrar. Si no le aparece, escríbame y yo la voy a reportar para que le llamen mañana y le, y le manden el link. Ok, what is your phone, teacher? Ok. Es seven nine four six four six four one okay three seven three seven okay yeah repeat Ten. seven nine four six four one three seven okay perfect Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Now, it is important to mention that in each class we will practice the four skills of the English language, which are, can you help me, writing? Writing. Writing. Speaking. Speaking. Listening. Listening. And reading. And, and reading. reading. Yes. Okay, reading. this is very important, reading. Now, welcome to Advance One course. It's a pleasure to me to meet you. Now, now this is a, an important knowledge that never stop learning because life never stop teaching. Yeah? It's good, right? Now, I need to share you our first topic. Do you have any questions for this information? Any question? No, Everything is clear? Yes. yes, it's clear. Okay, thanks a lot. Now, did you see the, the presentation? Yes. 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 The new presentation, right? This is our first topic, is that's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. This is our first topic. What is the meaning of that's what friends are for? If you have any questions, si tienen una pregunta sobre vocabulario, 
me dicen, si no entienden algo, yo con mucho gusto se los puedo explicar en español, si usted quiere que así se lo explique, there is no problem, siéntase con la confianza de preguntarme, cuando usted pregunta, es, es bueno porque me dice, me está diciendo que quiere aprender y yo lo menos que voy a hacer es ayudarle, ¿ya? Estoy acá para ayudarle, entonces okay. cualquier duda usted me dice. Right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. What is the meaning of that what's friends are for? Para eso están los amigos. Para eso están los amigos. Yes, para eso están los amigos. Now, our first topic is relatives pronouns of subjects. Relatives pronouns as subject. Please repeat after me. Relatives. 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 Pronouns. Pronouns. As subject. Excellent. Now, relative pronouns as subject. What is the meaning of subject? Do you know what is the meaning of subject? Sujeto. Sujeto. Ya. Yeah. ¿Qué es un sujeto? What is subject? Una persona. Una persona. Yes. Una It's persona. a person. But, a person. yes. Here we have the, the information. Subject is does the action. Is the person or thing doing something? Does the action. Es quien hace la acción. But is the person or thing doing something? Es de quien se habla, ¿no? Ya yeah, es el que hace la acción. Yes. Es de quien se habla. O que está haciendo alguna cosa. Miren, dice, is the person or thing. Es la persona o cosa que está haciendo algo. Ya, yeah? doing something, haciendo alguna cosa. Now, here we have two clauses. What is the meaning of close? Do you know what is the meaning of close? No? Close? Close significa oración. Son las cláusulas. No, es una oración. Oración. Close significa oración. What is the meaning of flow? Is when you connect two ideas. Here we have the first example. I like guys. I like guys. This is the first clause. Here. I like guys. This is the first clause. Second clause is this one. They aren't too serious. They aren't too serious is the second clause here we have two clauses i like guys and they aren't too serious now how is the best way to connect to connect the ideas using Say. yeah but is using who or using that What is the meaning of who and that? We use who for person and that for thing. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, but, but in this case, who you can is use... quien y that is. Uh, okay. <laughs> que. Que. Okay. Que. Que. Yes, is que. But you can use both. Both. For person or thing. Pueden usar los dos. Both are correct. Who and that. But usually you can use who for people and that for thing. It's okay. But in this case, when you use relative pronouns, you can use both. Who or that. Cuando lo leamos, van a ver aquí la diferencia. For example, here we have I like guys. Here, aquí vamos a conectar las dos ideas, to connect both clauses. I like guys, here, 
who or that who that aren't too serious too serious let me see okay here I like who or that aren't too serious. This is the connector. This is, this is the close. Connect both or connect two ideas. Here, who or that. In this case, is this, they. I like guys is one clothes. They aren't too serious is another, another clothes. And we combine both clothes. I like guys who aren't too serious. Or I like guys that aren't too serious. What is the meaning of, question, of this sentence? What is the meaning? Can you tell me, please? Can you tell me what is the meaning? I like guys. What is the meaning of guys? Chico. Who? Chicos. I like guys. Me gustan los chicos. Me gustan los chicos. Que no son serios. Más serios. Que no, que no son que muy, no serios. Son muy serios. Muy serios. serios. Yes. Two, it means muy. Muy serios. O demasiado serios. I like guys who aren't too serious oh i like guys that aren't too serious si dice me gustan los chicos que no son muy serios aquí utilizamos el que verdad lo que me dijeron que y aquí utilizamos quién los chicos quienes no son tan serios y con that decimos i like guys me gustan los chicos que no sean muy serios o que no son muy serios. ¿Ya? ¿Es ok? Sí. Yes. Sí. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. exercise uh, in number two. Remember that if you don't understand something, please ask me and I will be glad to explain again. There is no problem. Now, number two, I like guys. Here we have another two clauses. The first one is, I like guys. The second is, they have a good sense of humor. They have a good sense of humor. Here we have both. Now, can you tell me? How to connect both clauses? How to connect? Here, I like guys who have a good sense uh, of, humor. of humor. Or I like guys that Boys, have that a good sense, I like a guys good who. sense of humor. Yes. In this case, both are the same too, who and that. Why? If I say, I like guys who, me gustan los chicos quienes tienen un buen sentido del humor. If I use that, I like guys, me gustan los chicos que tienen un buen sentido del humor. Both are the same, right? Podemos utilizar los dos. We can use both who or that. Is okay? Yes. 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 Okay. Aquí, here we have the complete. Who or that have, have a sense, have a good sense of humor. Okay, here we have an example. Can you tell me another example? Or oh, here I, I have an, uh, another example to you. Let me see. 
sure we could, I need more space. Okay, now another example. Here yes. we have another example, yes. number three. Okay, if I say, let me see, help me in number. I like to meet people who or that help me understand things easily. Okay, look this example. I like to meet people who help me understand things easily. And you can say, I like to meet people that help me understand things easily. Is okay? Do you have any questions for this vocabulary? Or oh, are there any new words for you? New words? No words here. What is the meaning of easily? Here? Facilmente. 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 Excellent. Now we have another example. Let me see. Another. I discuss my problems with friends who or that, let me see, who or that, can give me good advice. Here we have who or that. Now, I discuss my problems with friends who can give me good advice. Or I discuss my problems with friends that can give me good advice. I Is think okay? Who? Who? But both are the same. Los dos podemos utilizar aquí, porque aquí le dice, okay. mire, I discuss my problem. Puedo discutir mis problemas con amigos. ¿Quiénes o quien pueda darme buenos consejos o un, un buen consejo? Ok. Y dice, yo discuto mis problemas con amigos que me puedan dar buen consejo. ¿Ya? Aquí estamos utilizándolo como sujeto. In this case, who... Who is the subject? In this case, I like guys. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? In this case, what is the subject? They. They. Estamos hablando de los guys. chicos. Guys. Guys. Yes. Guys. And then, guys. Yes. And then, the subject is guys. Porque, ¿qué dijimos que es el sujeto? Ah, ya. Yeah. El sujeto yeah, es person. el que describe del, la acción. Yes, el sujeto the es quien, quien hace la acción, ¿verdad? Here we have, mm -hmm. that's the action. Es el que hace yeah. la acción o que está haciendo alguna cosa. Here, subject does is the action something, ¿ya? Yeah? In this case, I like to meet people. Who is the subject? People. People. The people, 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 the subject people. is people, excellent, because I like to meet people who, aquí estamos hablando de quién, de las personas, mm -hmm. right, for that reason the subject is people, is okay? Yeah. In number four, what is the subject? I discuss Friends. my problem, friends, Friends. excellent. Friends. 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 Yes, One friends. Question, teacher. Tell me. One question, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, number four. Yeah. Uh, uh, subject friends. 
está en plural, en plural. Yes. Eh, o sea, puedo relacionarlo con what, what, cuando digo qué. Puedo yes. Puedo relacionar en que esté hablando en plural. Yes. Yes, there is no problem. Ok. Yeah. Ajá, es, es, es igual, para plural o singular. Yes, for both. Ok, Now. thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Do you have another question? O sea que no importa, teacher, que esté en plural o en singular la, la oración, siempre podemos ocupar cualquiera de los dos conectores, who o that. Yes, the subject, el sujeto, puede estar en singular o en plural, right? Ok. Yes, podemos utilizar el who o el that. Now, we have relative pronouns as object. The, la, the last one is subject, but in, in this case is object. What is the meaning of object? In this Objetos. case, yes, but in this case, is object is who receive the action. Receive the action is having something done, done to it. Is having something done to it. It receive the action. In this case, the object is who receive the action. Yeah. Quien recibe la acción. Here we have the first example. I prefer someone. Here we have two clauses again. The first one is I prefer someone. And the second is I can talk to him easily. This is the first here. The first sentence, the first clause. I prefer someone. I can talk to him easily. Here we have two. Now, what is the object of him, of the first one? I prefer someone. I can talk to him easily. What is the object here? Someone. 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 Yes, yes, someone. And what is in number two? I prefer someone. I have fun with him. What is the object in number two? Can someone. you tell me? Someone. Someone, someone too. too. Someone. Yes, someone too. Okay. Now. Here, here uh, we need a connector or we need a pronoun. Now, I prefer someone who or that I can talk to easily. I prefer someone who or that I can talk easily. Can you tell me what is the meaning of this? Sentence, I prefer someone who or that I can talk to easily. Yeah. What is the meaning? I prefer. Preferiría pre a alguien. Preferiría a alguien. Yeah. Who? Quién. Con quién. Mira. Con quién. Con quien yo pueda hablar. Con quien yo pueda hablar. Con facilidad. Fácil, con facilidad. Con facilidad o fácilmente, right? Fácilmente, ok. Yeah. También podría ser, I prefer someone, preferiría a alguien que pueda hablar fácilmente. ¿Ya? Yeah? Pero lo, aquí suena mejor ponerle who, ¿verdad? Porque dice con quién puede hablar fácilmente. But both are the same. Pero ya vamos a ver otra estructura. Now, in number two. I prefer someone who that I have fun with. Prefiero a alguien con quien tenga con diversión. Quien, con quien me divierta. O me divierta, yes. Now, I prefer someone, prefiero a alguien que sea divertido, podría ser, o que pueda, pueda divertirme, right? 
Aquí suena mejor el who, ¿verdad? Porque dice con quién pueda divertirme. O alguien que pueda divertirme. Now, what is the point here? Here in this subject, we can use both sentences. En este caso, no es completamente necesario unirla. Puede quedar sin unir. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene un sujeto al inicio. Mientras que en el sujeto, miren el sujeto, aquí, o cuando lo unimos, en este caso acá, no tiene un sujeto al inicio, cuando corta la oración. Tenemos una que dice, I like guys, que es una, una close. Luego, aquí en el ejemplo dice, they aren't, aquí también tiene un sujeto, está bien, pero cuando la unimos, Dice, I like guys who aren't too serious. Aquí no tenemos un sujeto. Mientras que en el como objeto, aquí podemos decir, I prefer someone. Yo prefiero a alguien. Is one clothes. Y puedo también solo decir, I can talk too easily. Yo puedo hablar con facilidad o puedo hablar fácilmente. No necesitamos agregar el, el who o el that. It's not necessary to add who or that, right? In second one, I prefer someone is one close. Puedo, puedo decir, I prefiero a alguien. And the second close, I have found with. Yo me divierta o con quien yo me divierta. I have fun. Here. We have a subject here and a subject here in the second. And then it's not necessary add who or that. Yeah? To complete. No es necesario agregar el who or that. Podemos dejarlo así solito. Now, here is the object, someone. Bye. Entonces aquí quedamos que no es necesario. Now, we have... Some exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. In this time we can, we can do an exercise that combine relative pronouns as subject and relative pronouns as object. Here we have our first example. Ah, but here, let me, let me share with you another example with subject. Number three, another example here. Let me see. I'd like to have a boss who or that I respect as a leader. This is another example using object. Here, I'd like to have a both who I respect as a leader. Oh, I like to have a both, a boss that I respect as a leader. Then, here, can be without who or that. It's not necessary to add who or that because you can say only, I'd like to have a both or I respect as a leader because have a subject here and here too. Yeah? Do you have any questions for this information about object? Question? No, no, no for the moment. Now. For the moment. Okay, now. Here, we have the first exercise. Instruction. Can you help me to read the instruction, please? Can you help me? Volunteer? Volunteer to read this information? Uh, okay. Hi. Okay. Hi. Tell me. Hi. Yeah. 
instruction how to or that do the conversation where necessary but um asked where who or that is not necessary excellent right thanks a lot instruction add a who or that to the conversation where necessary put an x where who or that is not necessary yeah in letter a i'm looking for someone i can go on vacation with okay where is the correct answer here who or that or X in Y? X. 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 Y. X. Tell me why. Why is X? No, it's necessary. Who or that? Excellent, because it's not necessary. Add who or, who that. or that. Yes, because we had a subject here and here. Now, y porque es de, de lo que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? El objeto es el que la es que, que la acción ya está hecha, ¿verdad? El objeto, aquí está, ¿ve? Es el que recibe la acción. ¿Ya? Yeah? Because received the action. Now, mm, so what kind of person are you looking for? I want to travel with someone is easygoing and independent. I want to travel with someone. What is the, the answer here? Who? 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 Or that? That. Who or that? Or that. Excellent. Who or that? Next one. Someone help me to read the next one. I want to travel with someone who or that is easygoing and independent. Independent. Now, next, right. And you do, you would probably also like a person is reliable. What is the answer here? Who or, or that? that. Who, or that. Who, or that. Who, or that. Who or that? Excellent. Now, next one. Next one. Yeah. And I want someone I know well. What is the meaning of here? What is the answer? Exactly how read the soldiers. Repeat, please. X. 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 No X. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You are very smart. I saw, I see you are very smart. Now, so why don't you ask me? Why don't you ask me? You, I know you too well. What is the meaning of this one? Oh, after, after I, I read again. Now, ah, does that mean you think I'm someone is high, strong, and unreliable? What is the answer Who here? Or that? Who 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 or that? Next. Next. No, I'm just kidding. You are definitely someone I could go on vacations with. So, what are you doing in May? X. What is the meaning for? X. 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 X is not necessary. Excellent. Now, I need two volunteers to read this information. One girl and one, and one boy. Who is me? Marisol. Marisol, thanks. And one man? Me, Byron. Byron, okay. 
Byron Start and Marisol continue. Okay. I am looking for someone I can go on vacation with. Mm, so what kind of person are you looking for? I want to travel with someone who is easygoing and independent. Right, and you're probably also like a person who is relatable. Yeah, and I want someone I know well. So, why don't you ask me? Do I know you too well? Ah, does that mean do you think I'm someone who is high, strong, and unrelatable? No, I'm just kidding. You are definitely someone I could go on vacation with. So what are you doing in May? Excellent. Thanks for your participation. I'm looking for someone. What is the meaning of here? I'm looking for someone. Yo estoy buscando a alguien. Estoy buscando a alguien. What? I estoy can go. Estoy alguien con quien pueda vacacionar. Excellent. Second one. Con quien ir de vacaciones. Yeah. Con quien ir de vacaciones. Now, so what kind of person are you looking for? So, what kind of person are you looking for? ¿Qué tipo de persona, persona estás buscando? Yeah. I want to travel with someone who is easygoing and independent. Can you tell me what is the reason? Why? Why is the reason? ¿Por qué será que quiere viajar con alguien que sea fácil de tratar e independiente? Can you tell me why? No, no tiene compromisos, ni oh. límites de tiempo. Yes, and maybe there is no stingy, right? Independent, mm -hmm. que no sea tacaño, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they went to, to the vacation. Yes, go to the vacation. Now, right. And you would probably also like a person who is reliable. What is the meaning of here? And you'd probably also like a person who is reliable. Someone you can trust. Repeat. Dice que probablemente um, también. A reliable person is a, is a person, someone you can trust. Yes. Yes. Dice que probablemente también le gustaría una persona que sea confiable. I probably also like a person is reliable. Yeah. Yeah. And I want someone I know well. This is important. I want someone I know well. What is the meaning of, the meaning of I know well? Que quiere que lo conozca bien. Que lo conozca bien. Quiere ir con alguien que lo conozca bien. Conocer bien. Yes. No, so... Why don't you ask me? Why don't you ask me? What is the meaning? ¿Por qué no me preguntas? ¿Por qué no me preguntas? Yeah. You, I know you too well. I know you too well. Te conozco bien. Te conozco yes, bien. Te conozco muy bien. Too well. Muy bien. Muy bien. Yes. Ah, does that mean you think I'm someone who is high, strong, and reliable? Significa que? Yeah. Que alguien que es muy nervioso. Le dice que significa que que le dice, significa que piensa mm. que soy alguien que no soy confiable o temperamental. High strong is temperamental. O temperamental and unreliable is no, is no confiable, right? 
No, I just kidding. What is the meaning of kidding? I'm just Bro, kidding. Está bromeando. Estoy bromeando. Yes, no, I'm just kidding. Estoy bromeando, le dice. You are definitely someone I could go on vacation with. Yeah? So, what are you doing in May? This is an appointment, right? At the end, what are you doing in May? Yeah? Did you like the exercise? Sí, sí lo va a hacer. Sí, se irá. Se irá en mayo, ¿no? Yes. Le pregunta que si puede en mayo, que qué va a estar haciendo en mayo para ir con ella, ¿ya? Yeah? Mínimo que se va a llevar a la mamá, que es la que más conoce. Yes. <laughs> It's probably. <laughs> Now, eh, ¿qué les ha parecido la clase? Opinions. Only two minutes. Very nice. Very fine, nice. Fine, fine, fine. Very fun. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Ok, <risa> eh, remember. Teacher, Tell me. En mi caso, prácticamente creo que es la, la mejor manera que podemos aprender. O sea, hay algunos que realmente a veces no comprendemos las oraciones o algo así, pero en, el, en, en la forma que usted lo va haciendo, el inglés, y al mismo tiempo, yo sé que tenemos que hablar solamente en inglés, yeah. pero este, hay, hay muchas veces nosotros tenemos muchos obstáculos a hacer. ¿verdad? en ese aspecto que no comprendíamos, pero cuando usted lo explica en la forma de, de inglés y el español, prácticamente lo, lo agarramos mejor, tomamos más, más las ideas y comprendemos más la clase. Yes. Y por eso, thank you very much. Ok, you're welcome. Eh, por eso les decía, aunque les explique en inglés, si usted quiere que se lo explique en español o una palabra no la entiende, ni explicándolo en inglés, o sea, no es que usted, no, no o sea, a veces dice uno, no es que no se me queda, no, no es eso. Eh, como adultos tenemos tantas cosas en nuestra mente y yo comprendo eso si venimos cansados del trabajo, a la clase y es admirable, fíjense, porque aunque uno venga cansado, la gana de aprender, la gana de salir adelante, la demuestran estando en la clase. Por eso nunca dejen de soñar, continúen aprendiendo y si tienen dudas así o se quedan dudas en la clase, Usted me puede mandar un mensaje después y yo con mucho gusto le explico. La idea, como le decía, es que no se queden con dudas, right? And then it's for me, for me it's nice, but I, I, need, I need teaching you my knowledge. Estamos compartiendo conocimientos y me gusta que, que, que lo aprendan así, miren, porque eh, aquí no les queda ninguna duda del vocabulario. And this is the best way to to learning, yeah, and then, ah, otra cosa, miren, eh, me gusta que sean responsables, vi que casi todos estaban ya conectados a las 8, eso es lindo, porque a las 8 en punto damos inicio, traten de conectarse siempre tres minutos antes, cinco si pueden, yo me conecto casi siempre diez minutos antes, o ocho, lo más, y ahí espero a que se conecten, porque a las 8 en punto damos inicio para avanzar con los temas. If you have a, if you have a time, it will be important to reading platform this 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 concept because my tomorrow we will continue with personalities and it's a nice a nice topic. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, I I enter the class late. Um, uh, what is your name, please? Okay, Jamilet. My name is Jamilet. Okay, teacher. But Thanks. please call me Jami. Jami is my, is my, my nickname. <laughs> Jami, okay. <laughs> yes, there is no problem. Jami. It yes. is beautiful. It is beautiful name. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> And then, see you okay. tomorrow. See you. See okay. you bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Okay. bye. 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 And God bless you. Bye, bye. 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 See you.